team full us this is again amy welcome back to my channel welcome to click up my canal today we're going to make another amazing leave-in conditioner hair growth spray so these are all the ingredients i'm going to be using i'm going to be using clove i'm going to be using rosemary fenugreek and black seed these are the ingredients you can use any other ingredients that you want as long as you have rosemary in the mixture of your ingredients you have to have rosemary in it and um, all of these ingredients they are actually very amazing on their own there are a lot of health benefits when it comes to using rosemary on your hair there are a lot of health benefits when it comes to using fenugreek on your hair there's a lot of health benefits when it comes to using um, clove on your hair also a lot of health benefits when it comes to using black seed um, on your hair so I'm going to boil all of this I have my pot of water on the gas warming up a little bit and then I'm going to add all of this ingredient make sure you don't um, have the the gas on high speed just have it low I like to have the gas a little bit low and then I'm gonna allow this to like cook for at least five to ten minutes when you see that the color starts changing to like more darker and then you know it's ready i would advise you not to like overcook it um just allow it to cook for like five to ten minutes five to ten minutes it's more than enough and then when it cuts to a couple of minutes just take a spoon and then check if the color of the water have changed because that's how you get to know if everything is you know it's finished as you guys can see with fenugreek it's very easy to know when fenugreek has properly soaked because the seed is very very small and as soon as the seed has properly soaked it will get a little bit bigger it's, it's it will open a little bit so for me in this part i know the ingredients has cooked so now i'm going to like turn the gas off and i'm going to allow this to cool down properly you're going to allow this to cool down properly before ever draining into the container for me i like to leave it for at least an hour or two because i really want like the water to soak in to the to the ingredients very very good and then I'm going to like drain it. You can as well use this again if you want to. You can as well use this because I also use this again. I When I finish draining that water, I added clean water into the pan and I just allow it to soak. And then when I was done using the one in the spray bottle, because that one didn't even last for a very long time because I was using this twice a day on my own hair and on the girl's hair so it didn't last for that long so i made new i made a new one immediately so i use this like twice this make sure i use it twice after draining that i'm going to fill in my container one thing i love about this container is you can close it it has this hook where you can close it so that the girls they don't know how to open it um, I'm the one that always open it and use it on their hair because I remember the one I used to have I still have that one my daughter I will ask her to spray it on her hair and she will soak her hair her hair will be so soaked with this product so I decided to get a different container so this one it has a hook where you can hook it and close it. She just doesn't really know how to how to un un unhook it. So yeah, I'm kind of happy a bit with this one. And it's very, very easy. You just spray this on your hair and you leave it in. Do this twice a day. This mixture will help you to promote a strong, healthy new growth. And you will definitely love it. So I want to come and show you guys how I use my rosemary leave-in spray this is my hair growth leave-in spray this is extremely good for hair growth also like when you have dry scalp it's really really good if you want this to be more effective you can also add um few drop maybe 10 drop of your favorite hair growth oil that you're using and then you can use it to like you can also spray this on your scalp also spray this on your hair so for me i did a protective hairstyle as you guys can see my braids stop till hair till hair 
this is where my natural hair stops so all of this is just so when i'm ready to take it off it's gonna be very very easy this was a very quick and protective hair so i did this because i was kind of tempted to cut my hair off and i was like you know what let me just do something to kind of like distract me from cutting my hair off so that's the reason why i did this so now i'm going to show you guys how i use this so when i was braiding my hair i didn't really put a lot of pressure on my edges like the the ones that i know that it was a little bit too short i didn't even bother to braid it i just use my finger and just give it like a twist like this and just leave it because i normally wear their hairstyle like this or i will wear it like this so therefore my edges are covered so yeah so normally what i'll do i'll just put the hair one side and then i'll take the spray and I'll spray on my scalp like this and then I'll also spray on the hair because I know and then I'll use my finger to like massage this this the what the spray into my scalp so I'll do it like this and I use my finger to massage and then I also spray it on the hair not all the way through just where my hair stops that's how I'll do it and I'll also do the back Then I'll do the same thing so I'll continue doing this like this and you can actually smell the fenugreek for me I really do not mind if you want you can use the the rosemary on its own like this but I love using the fenugreek sometimes I mix it with onions and sometimes I just mix it with fenugreek and other um, other ingredients, not only the rosemary. So this is how I do it, and I just continue like this, and I just massage, and I also spray it on the hair. This is how this is how I actually do it. I do this uh, twice a day actually I do this in the morning before um, like after taking a shower after I take shower I put on my clothes and then I'll come to the bathroom and do this um, and I'll do this and then I'll go downstairs have breakfast so by the time I'm about to leave the house the smell it's a bit calm you know because with the fenugreek you can actually smell the fenugreek very strongly so but we but after leaving it for a couple of minutes you will not smell it anymore so that's one thing i love about this mixture um i made this i use it twice a day so therefore it doesn't last for that long so therefore i will have to make another one um as soon as possible and um reasons why but if you make like a lot of batches if you like make a lot i would advise you to use um um tea tree oil for as a preservant that also it's really really good to use tea tree oil as a preservant so yeah this is how i actually use it I hook on my edges massage it and as you guys can see this is how much i have used so i'll do this twice a day i'll do this in the morning i did it in the morning if i was if i was going to work and i used the last one <laughs> the one i made um the one i finished using last last um last week um today's monday so the one I, I i made last week it was rosemary onions and fenugreek so and today i made rosemary fenugreek black seed oil black seed and clove so i kind of mix it every week i just mix it i use different different herbs and this is how this is how i use it this is how i use it this is it and my scalp feels really, really good. And I just love the way it makes my scalp feel. So, Team Fillers, hope you all like this video. If you do, please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you all on my next video. Peace out. Bye.